Khan, it gives me immense pleasure and extreme happiness to be here in front of you all to tell you all my story as a heart transplant recipient. I'd like to extend my thanks to Dr. Pritika Chari for ordering me to be here. She called me and told me, Kaveri, you have to come on night, so you come, prepare a speech and talk in front of her. So I really loved her uh, way of taking taking me as her own patient, as her own child and calling me here. So thank you so much ma'am for inviting me and Dr. Prem Shekhar for introducing me to you all, great people, like doctors and everyone, for giving me motivation and being my guardian angel and my guide until now. So uh, I have put a small PPT on my life so it will be a bit difficult to see because the photos are from before and after. So please bear with me and listen to me ramble for a bit. So from, uh, I'd also like to thank, at in this stage I'd like to thank my donor and their family. I don't know who they are, but my heartfelt thanks to them at this moment. So, so let me start about how it all started, my story. So when I was six months old, uh, I was diagnosed with her heart heart disease. So I had a hole in my heart and from 6 months to 3 to 4 years of age, I was locally treated in my own place in Melbourne. So after which the hospital they couldn't cope up with my regenerating organ and that's when we had to search for someone else to take care of me and that's when we went to Dr. Prem Shaker. And Dr. Prem Shaker from the age of 5, from 2005 and until now, he has been taking care of me as his own child. And I'm really blessed to have been, to be his patient. Everyone would say that uh, doctors are very fearful, but I always, I'm always happy when I have to meet him. I'd always say, my, tell my parents that, do you want to meet Dr. Prem Shekhar? Yes, I'm pretty happy. I'll always run and come. Because I've never had a fear of doctor because of you. Sir, thank you so much. So, when I was six months old, and until three, and when I was five years old, I came to Dr. Prem Shaker and that's when I had my open heart surgery. The hole in my heart was closed up. And after that, I was pretty okay for a few years or so. But when I turned 12 years old and as I grew up as like a normal child with the support of medications, my heart couldn't cope up with my growth, the normal body growth. And that's when my organs started failing. So, um, when my organs started failing and uh, that's when, when I was 12 years old and I was in 6th standard, uh, I had jaundice at that time. I was diagnosed with jaundice but unfortunately it was an indication of my heart failing and we didn't know at that point. So when I was 7th, when I was uh, turning 13, I had a seizure and when I was admitted in the hospital for being, having severe seizures, we recognized that my heart was severely failing and by the time I was 13 and in 8th standard, I had my heart transplant. My heart was like severely uh, heart failed a lot. Slayed. Thank you. So, where was it? Uh, so, my heart failed and I had my organ transplant in 2014. So, it's been 9 years until now. And this is, this was in 2008 with Dr. Prem Shaker. And I had my stem cell therapy in 2008. And it was the very first in India at that time. So after, it was in a uh, different kind at that point and I'm, it made a difference in my life. But unfortunately, since it was not uh, from birth stem cell, it did not work out very well and I had to have a transplant. So, mm, so choose to be an organ donor. So this is my pre-transplant in July 2014. July was my birth month. And I must say that in 2014, until my 2014 my transplant, I forgot how to smile because my body degenerating and me being not being able to live a normal life, I almost forgot how to smile. We say that unmayana I never, I didn't even know until now recently when I started searching for my old photos to post in social media like every other day, and that's when I saw I forgot how to smile. I told my parents and they could only know and see, see me. So later, um, so this was pre-transplant just before operation. You can see the difference. Then I'm now.
So that's the extreme difference I can show to you about how just before transplant, how I was inhuman. I couldn't, people couldn't even recognize me as a human. I was only 24 kilos at that time. I still remember my parents telling me that my surgeon told that he didn't even have any flush to cut through during the transplant. So that's how severe it was. Now I'm 46 years old. People say, don't tell your weight to anyone, but I'm proudly telling that I'm double the weight from my transplant. So, um, so next we had comes. 46 kg. 46, 46, I'm so sorry. Not age. Not age. <laughs> it's okay, I'll take it as a compliment. I look young and 46. <laughs> so like, uh, in 2014, that's when my father, in dire straits, without knowing what to do, and in need of money, monetary help, and as well as blessings and prayers, he posted an FB post. FB in 2014 was a wrong social media, I understand, but he still wanted to tell his students, his uh, teacher, that uh, about his daughter who is suffering. He posted that my daughter is in the hospital; she needs an organ transplant. Please, everyone, pray for my daughter. And that's when one of my father's students, true student, Yashwant Mohan Raj, I'd like to mention his name because he's my savior right now. He called my father, asked him, Sir, is this you? I didn't want to think that it would be, have been your daughter, but unfortunately it was me. And he's the one who introduced me to RJ Balaji Anna, and he came to me. He called my father, and my father was strict to him. You shouldn't talk to her about anything about uh, your health. You should only talk to her jovially, you should only do that. There were severe instructions to him that he was so very afraid to even speak to me. But he came, we did a YouTube video. I think you may all recognize the name, I tell the name, RJ Balaji abuses Sachin. It was a, it was trending in YouTube for a few days and uh, it, I hope that it created a few, a bit of uh, awareness on organ transplantation. So many people uh, searched about organ transplantation due to that uh, video and uh, many called us and I got an earlier transplant due to that also I must say. Uh, I, the, this video was released uh, two just two weeks before my transplant. I got transplant in December, just two weeks in November, at the end of November we shot this video and posted it. That's how powerful the well wishes and blessings of everyone is. So next, uh, in that video I had spoken about Bentish Batsar and Raupama. I told him, I love kitchen superstar. I love, I like how he cut the vegetables so fast. And he saw that video and came to meet me. He gave me lots, if you can see there, he gave me lots of books. He wished me that, he told me that you should be re able to read this by sitting. My, my father told him, so please pray that she should not complete these books before her transplant. And it truly happened. I couldn't even complete a single book before my transplant. And I read everything after transplant and after coming back home. So it's all truly his well wishes, blessings and everyone. So, um, uh, and then we have to go on. Next, there is so much. And in the YouTube video, we have to say, reiterate, Ajay Palaj would have said something about hatred and love. I'd like to rephrase that and tell you that. Uh, we have so, there is so much of uh, time we spend for hatred. But why not a tiny thought of love? We have so, we spread so much of negative comments and everything on internet for hatred, but we don't even say God bless on the internet. We don't even comment under anything. Please take a moment to read anyone's post. Just at least think about them. I really truly ask that those positive thoughts help everyone. <coughs> And this is immediately post-transplant. You can see the vibrant difference actually. You can see my blood flowing and the normal skin tone rather than the ashy face I had. So this is how an organ transplant changes the life of an organ recipient. This is what I was trying to, have been trying to tell. That this was actually two or three weeks, just two weeks after transplant, immediately after transplant in the world. And uh, my, uh, finally, my organs were getting the proper blood flow and it was properly functioning after a long time. It would have been such a relief for a bit. And when I was suggested for transplant, I must mention this, I was told that I must have heart and both 
heart and both lungs also must be transplanted because my the degenerating organ my heart was also affecting my lungs but dr prem shekhar told my surgeon you don't do her, her touch her lungs i will surely take care of it he told them so firmly and i was only transplanted with my with an heart and he did what he, he absolutely did what he said and my both my lungs are very well and i can walk run but i don't run uh, i can walk run do everything as a normal lung with normal lungs so thank you sir for having so much of force and so much of belief for saving my lungs too so um, so this is currently i showed you the previous when i was a small kid and now just recently when he was seriously taking care taking my heart rate my father sneakily <laughs> took a picture but this is always memorable because i will comparatively say, see how i was and how now i am so this is the true example of you all over with sir so i'll tell something of jaila this is how empty is the life i had and the true original og example for that term i'll say so before transplant uh, i have to convince you to be an organ donor i was not able to work for even a minute i was given walk test at the time two minutes only two minutes and i couldn't i thought it was a malin task to even walk i couldn't even walk from there to here and now i can walk a kilometer walk normally like everyone and that's the change that it's been that's the change i'm giving you to make you an uh, organ donor so to be able to breathe normally uh you have to say with people lie down flat actually without any problem but i wouldn't be able to lie flat at in before transplant have to have elevated and at one point i was so severely suffocating i used to like count the words to put it in that and that's how i had to even lie down so that i would at least be able to be a person to air inside and everything had crossed over everything and currently current protein with dr pranshi ko always leaves me happy i always smile bye sir have a nice day i tell him that and i will come back so it's all a miracle it's like a dream to me dream come true moments so i like to be the change that uh, there are so many things so many donations so many things happening but i like to say be the change be an organ donor and also when i was in 2014 i always did that that actually i was in so much of pain that my father had to hold me continuously tightly so that even if i breathe i don't feel any pain so much of pain that i was tell i took i literally told my parents that please just give the heart to someone else i no longer want to live because it's so painful and i know the post transplant difficulties are no difficult that let someone else deserving have the heart but they convinced me everyone convinced me my father students everyone convinced me go go on take heart everyone is telling you right so i accepted it and i never looked i never ever looked back again and that's the positive thing that i would say that has happened so and also in this moment i would like to tell you something else organ transplant is not only about organ transplant i have had a organ transplant friend someone who contacted with my hospital and we used to talk a lot uh, exchange notes on how to survive after transplant but unfortunately due to monetary uh, difficulties she had to change her medications to generic medications in this moment i know many press press people everyone is here i like to reiterate that because of uh, lack of awareness also i must say uh, people uh, who do not have any she changed the generic medicines and she is no longer with me here so for few years back uh, i we lost her and her mother sent a text message that she is finally breathing easily in heaven now i was very shocked and that i sent a scolding text how dare you say like this she just talked to me two days before and that's when uh, the text came back this is her mother it was truly heartbreaking because i know what went wrong and i know why it happened so Oh, my speech it makes a change in the society. In foreign countries, I am in a group on Facebook. They are every other uh, recipient posts daily, 
Hi, this is my 20th uh, anniversary. This is my 30th heart transplant anniversary. They put it so much that every time I see, I have small regret that someone, I have lost so many people. Not this one was my close friend, so I'm telling about her here because I, I know she would listen to me now. And people who I don't know, who have been acquainted with also have lost lives because there has been no awareness post-transplant care. There has been so, there is so many things to take care of to remember that there is no awareness about it and so many lives are lost. And there is no use of an organ transplant if the lives are lost, right? There should be also after care, before care, for proper care and after care. So let the awareness on organ donation be also be about post care. That's what I would like to tell in my speech on. So I like to end my speech by thanking everyone for listening to me ramble for quite a long while and also I'll just say it again. Be the life body in someone else's space, blank space. It's a blank space of living. Be an organ donor, donor donate organs. Thank you.